I turned up a QNAP NAS for a home music server. I paired it with a Blue Sound Node 2i. This video is going to show you the steps it took to get these two pieces to talk to each other and play my library over Ethernet. This is the Blue Sound Node 2i. I have it running on Ethernet to that NAS. And then I have analog out going to my preamp processor. And this is how to provision this to see your library on the NAS. When you turn up your QNAP NAS, you need to name it. The name I picked for my NAS is Media Server. These folders are default shared folders other than the share and the rune backup i added those myself multimedia file is a default and that's where i added the my music library which is where all of my ripped cds reside so to set up the blue sound you need to have the computer name which now in this case is going to be media server and then i have to tell it multimedia my music library so what i need to write down i need to write down the media server multimedia my music library because that that's the information I need to make the shared drive connection with the DAC. The Blue Sound app needs to be loaded onto whatever device you're going to use as a remote control. I have this PC, I have a tablet, and I have my phone. I went to the Blue Sound website, and for this desktop, I downloaded the Windows app, and then for my phone and my tablet, I went to this website and used the Google Play for my Android. So all three devices now have the app to control this Blue Sound. So now I'm going to open the Blue Sound app finds my player and if you notice I have nothing in here that says library so this is where I have to add the library so when you come to settings music library I'm on a network share there is no shares configured so I'm gonna click find network shares and it's not gonna find anything so I manually have to enter the name and this is where you wrote down the information before I'm going to manually enter the data to find my shared device I'm also going to add the username and password to that NAS so nothing goes wrong. Add share. Now you'll see my share is connected and now I have a library. I'm going to add the share from my Rune software. Same location, but the folder will be named share. Now both shares are connected. My Rune will be active. My library is active. When I go to my library now, I pick folders. There are my two share drive folders on that NAS. So right now it's all up and running. Now you may have trouble with access to the files where the files don't open because they're blocked. If you have a problem where things just don't seem to talk or they won't connect, go into your NAS and go to the control panel. Once you're in the control panel, you're going to go to privilege and you're going to go to shared folders. All of these share folders default to a privilege to where the guest right is deny access. And that could keep something from talking to your NAS. So what I did for my multimedia, I changed the guest access to read only. That allows the DAC to access the information. I did the same thing with the Rune software, but I think I gave that full access so it can go either way. And on the shared drive I made, I did the same thing. I did read only. So if you're having problems with connectivity, check the permissions because the permissions could be a, causing you a problem and you'll never know what it is. See, right now I'm in my library. I got Thin Lizzy playing. I also have Rune. Now I have Rune playing. Rune is playing some Montrose. I also have Tidal. Play some Van Halen. There's plenty of music services to choose from. I also have Amazon Music. And now we got the Rolling Stones when the whip comes down. I don't have a Spotify account. That's why I don't have any music. It took me three or four days of late nights after work to get all of this electronic stuff to talk to each other. So I'm hoping within this three or four minute video, it'll help you out to get your system set up and running smoothly. Because I spent a lot of hours on farms and there's a lot of little things that could trip you up that you wouldn't be aware of. And the folder permissions are a big one. Do I need to do that? I don't know, but it can't hurt. But now with this up and running, it's fantastic. 
With that QNAP NAS and that Blue Sound Node 2i, I have my personal library, I have Rune, and I have Tidal. And I've been using it now for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. And the Rune coupled with that Tidal, I'm listening to music I've never heard before. I'm 58 years old and I'm, I'm quite the rock and roll connoisseur. I, I know quite a bit of music and I've heard a lot of music I haven't heard before. So it's very intriguing and I, if you like music, I'd go, I'd try the Rune title combination. Hey, I hope this all helps you out. Thanks for watching.